Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn what is REST and RESTful API. You probably heard word REST API and RESTful API in web development. And then, you will have a few questions about it. Just like, what is REST API? What is the use of it? What is RESTful API? And so on. So if you have this question in your mind, don't worry. In this tutorial, I will solve all of them in a few minutes. But before we get started, make sure you have a solid understanding of API. Recently, I made a video on what is API with example. So don't forget to watch that video first before you move on with this tutorial. Now, if you already know what is API, then it is very easy to understand what is REST API. Before we understand what is REST API, we need to first know about what is web services. Now, let's talk about first, what is web services? In modern day business application, we use variety of programming platforms to develop web-based applications. Some application may be developed with Java, other in .NET, while some other in AngularJS, Node.js, and so on. Since they are built using different development languages, it becomes really difficult to ensure accurate communication between applications. This is where web services comes in. Web services provide a common platform that allows multiple applications built on various programming languages to have the ability to communicate with each other. So using web services, you can communicate with different languages, right? Now, there are two types of web services. SOAP web services, which is also known as Simple Object Access Protocol. And the second one is RESTful web services. We mainly focus on REST API. So we will understand the second one and learn what is RESTful web services. So first, we need to understand what is REST. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is a set of rules that developer follows when they create their API. In simple words, REST is an architecture to create RESTful services. For example, let's say you are trying to find funny videos on YouTube. You open up YouTube, type funny videos into search field, hit enter and you see a list of funny videos. The REST API work in a similar way. You search for something and you will get a list of results back from the service you are requesting from. In simple words, request is just a pattern for making APIs. It's just a standard pattern for naming resources that a service provide. For example, in Gmail API example, you can interact with your email draft. To do this, Google follows the REST pattern by giving you a URL that looks like this. In this URL, you can see you have your HTTP method, the service name, which is googleapi.com, and then you have your Gmail, user, user ID, and the draft. So using this URL, you can get your draft emails. Almost all REST APIs use HTTP, they don't have to, but most of them use HTTP request. REST basically works on HTTP web layer and use the key verbs to work with resources on the servers. We can write POST request to create a resources on the server, GET request to retrieve the resources from the server, PUT request to change or update the resources, or we can call DELETE request to remove or delete resources from the server. Now let's say if you want to get the list of the draft, so you just send the get request to that URL. If you wanted to create the draft, you can send the post request to that URL. If you wanted to update the draft, you can send the post request. And if you wanted to delete the draft, you can send delete request to that URL, right? Because you are using REST pattern for their APIs, you can easily see the pattern for listing, creating, reading, updating and deleting labels. It just add a different URL. REST is just a pattern for making APIs, right? And using this API, you can access resources like image, post, videos, text content, and so on. So using API, you request something, it may be a video or image or a list of the user, and you can request it using URL. Now the next question comes in, what is RESTful API? A service which is built on REST architecture is called RESTful service. In simple word, Developer who create API using REST pattern, this pattern, or you can say this API known as RESTful API. So basically, if any API follow the REST pattern, we can call it REST API. Now, once you know that what is RESTful API, the next question comes in, what is the use of RESTful API? The RESTful API enables the web application that built on various programming languages to communicate with each other. It also help us with the help of RESTful resources. This web application can reside on different environment. Some could be on Windows and other could be on Linux. But in the end, no matter what the environment is, the end result should always be the same that they should be able to talk to each other. 
RESTful web services offer this flexibility to applications built on various programming languages and platform to talk to each other. So I hope you understand what is REST, what is RESTful API and why would we use it. If you have any question, you can ask me anytime in the comment or send me an Instagram message if you want. Like this video if you find anything useful, subscribe for more programming videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next tutorial.